Hi everyone and welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious salmon and anchovy fish cakes. As I just mentioned today, I want to share with you how to make my delicious salmon and anchovy fish cakes. Now this recipe is really easy to do and in the past I have made a video about making salmon fish cakes but one day I decided to add anchovies to my salmon fish cakes and the results were so tasty. It just gave the fish cake that slight bit of saltiness that I love. So. I decided to write a recipe for my blog and I will link my blog in the description box below as well. Um, and today we're going to be having these for our dinner this evening and of course while I was making them I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious salmon and anchovy fish cakes. Firstly, I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. My oven has preheated so I'm going to put my salmon into the oven and I'm going to cook this for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the salmon starts to flake away from itself and I'll show you that in a little while. As you can see I've put a large pan of water on a high heat on my hob and I'm just going to add a bit of salt to that water like so and then I'm going to add my carrots so I have peeled and sliced roughly into about one centimetre pieces, one whole carrot and I'm just going to add the carrot to the base of this pan and I'm going to cook this for a couple of minutes and then I'll add in my potatoes but I want the carrots to cook first because the carrots are slightly harder than the potatoes and at the end of this recipe or the end of this video I'm going to mash everything together so I want the carrots to be slightly softer otherwise it's really hard to mash them so I'm just going to put those in for a couple of minutes now now I'm going to add in my potatoes to the boiling water I'm actually going to turn the water down slightly because it is quite hot so I have peeled and cut into like one inch cubes I'd say uh, about 800 grams of potato so I'm going to add that to my pot like so and then I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm going to bring these to the boil and then I'll let them simmer for about 10 minutes now I want the potatoes to be knifeful and not forkful um, knifeful just basically means they will fall off the knife easily um, you don't want them too soft you want the carrots slightly softer but you don't want the potatoes too soft because you want to form a cake like a potato cake out of them so you do need them slightly harder so I'm only going to cook these for 10 minutes while the potatoes are cooking I'm going to cook off the spring onion so I've put a small frying pan and I'm going to put that onto a high heat and then I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the base of that pan and I'm going to leave that pan to heat up. The pan is starting to get hot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry off my spring onions so I have chopped the tops and the tails or the bottoms from the spring onions and I've cut these into like half centimetre pieces I've used a whole bunch of spring onions I'm making this as if I'm serving four people Ted will eat probably a large fish cake and then I'm going to have one of these as leftovers tomorrow so I am making this as if it serves four not just me Ted and it's not just for me Ted and Howard I'll be having one of these as leftovers tomorrow so I'm going to fry these spring onions in this pan now until they start to soften the spring onions have started to soften as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to leave them to cool the fish is cooked and I can tell because the flesh is 
quite easily flaking away from itself and I don't mind it all flaky because I'm going to be putting it into a fish cake later on. So that's my fish done and I'm going to set this aside and leave this to cool as well. The potatoes have cooked and I'm pleased to say that they are knife full. They are falling off the knife quite easily as you can see. So I'm going to remove these from the heat and drain them through a colander and I'm going to leave these to cool as well. As you can see everything is cooked and I have transferred my potatoes from the saucepan through a colander and then uh, I drained all the water off and then I put the potatoes back into the saucepan again and I'm going to use that as my bowl to mash with. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the skin from the salmon because nobody really likes the skin apart from me and it probably wouldn't taste that great in fish cakes and I'm going to pop the salmon into the saucepan with the potatoes so I'm going to remove the skin from each piece of salmon like so as I said earlier in this video my son will probably eat a whole fish cake to be honest um, he loves salmon um, and he does eat a whole piece of salmon when giving it at dinner so I know that he's going to eat this he's only nine but he does love fish eight sorry nine in august so yeah he does love his fish which pleases me a lot so i'm just removing the salmon from the skin like so and once that's done i'm going to add the other ingredients uh, i'm going to add in the spring onions now that i cooked off earlier so if you remember, I cooked off about eight, seven to eight spring onions, a bunch of spring onions, and I'm just gonna add those to the bowl as well, like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my anchovies. So I had a small tin of anchovies, and I'm just gonna add them all in. So that's about, eight anchovies if you're using a jar and you want to know how many to use it was about eight in a tin and now what i'm going to do is i'm just simply going to mash all of these ingredients together until everything is basically mashed together and as always i've forgotten to add my salt and pepper to this so i'm going to add a big pinch of salt and then not too much pepper but a little bit my son isn't the great greatest pepper fan but um i am trying to get him used to it so yeah i'm just going to continue mashing these ingredients together i'm now going to form the fish cakes and what i've done is i've dampened my hands um so that the fish cake doesn't stick to the hand my hands too much and I have also put some browned flaxseed into a bowl and I'm going to form a fish cake and then I'm going to put it into the flaxseed. I'm using flaxseed instead of breadcrumbs. Um, I have a slight gluten intolerance and I find that I can digest flaxseed a lot easier than I can breadcrumbs. So I'm using this but you can use breadcrumbs if you want to or an alternative of your choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the mixture into four like so and i'm going to pat it down like i do with my burgers and then i'm going to as i said dip that until the fish cake is covered in the flaxseed i think i put about four tablespoons of flaxseed into this bowl i may not need that much but I've done it now so I'll just show you that again so I'm going to grab a big piece of the potato like so and then I'm going to pat it down and make it into a burger shape or a patty shape and then I'm going to dip it into the flaxseed like so and I'm going to put this onto my plate I'm going to go and wash my hands and I'm going to continue to make these fish cakes. I 
finished making the fish cakes. So I'm going to put these into the oven for a couple of hours now. If you wanted to make these in advance of a meal, then you can. And that's the great thing about these fish cakes. You could make them in the morning and leave them in the fridge for the whole day um, and then just cook them off in the evening. You can also make them in advance and store them in the freezer as well. So if you wanted a really quick midweek meal, you could make these at the weekend and then just store them in the freezer for the mid for the midweek meal. So now, as I said, I'm going to put these into the fridge for a couple of hours and then I'll cook them off later. It's almost dinner time in our house, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. The oven has preheated and I have put the fish cakes into the baking tray and I've added a little bit of oil to the top and spread it across the tops of the uh, fish cakes. And I'm now going to put these into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they go golden brown. As you can see, the fish cakes are a lovely golden brown color. So I'm gonna serve these with some fried spinach and that is our dinner done. That's how you make my delicious salmon and anchovy fish cakes. And that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be having these for my dinner this evening and they smell so good. I can't wait to eat them. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye